بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد In the previous session we addressed the verses in which Allah Azza wa Jal spoke about and described the situation of those wretched people who will be punished either the disbelievers or the disobedient believers Allah Azza wa Jal then changes the speech to address or to describe the situation of the other type of people. Allah says, Other faces that they will be glowing with bliss. See, na'ima in Arabic literally means very soft and tender. You know, uh, it is noticeable that uh, poor people have uh, rough features, whilst rich people or those who live comfortably, right, and joyfully are uh, softer and more tender in their uh, features. Allah Azza wa is describing the faces of the believers who will be deserving of the reward with Jannah on the hereafter as being glowing, soft, tender, glowing uh, with bliss. And one thing that's very interesting, uh, a statement by one of the scholars of Tafsir, he said, mentioning the reward of the believers who will be admitted into Jannah after one having read the punishment of the uh, rich, disobedient, or disbelievers is more relieving to the heart, more soothing to the heart. Because when one compares himself to someone who's being punished without knowing that he's getting anything, just to know that he's not going to be punished, that type of punishment, that by itself is a reward. Psychologically, that by itself is a relief. That brings joy to the heart. Alhamdulillah, I am saved. Well, you get more. Alhamdulillah, but at least I am being saved from this. Lisa'iha radiya. Satisfied and well pleased with their effort. Their good deeds, their tawheed, acceptance of the faith, adhering to the commandments of Allah Azza wa Jal, and they are satisfied and very well pleased with the reward that is awaiting them, that is ahead of them. They were promised that, but now they're living. So they're very well pleased and satisfied with what they're seeing. And the best type of contentment and satisfaction one can feel as a believer is when you see that Allah is pleased with you. Because if Allah wasn't pleased with you, you would not be enjoying this. So they will be satisfied and very pleased because they will know that this is the result of Allah being pleased with them and bestowing His mercy and showering them with His bliss subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, this is an introduction to what is the bliss. What is the reward that is awaiting these people whose faces are glowing with joy? Tender faces, satisfied faces, faces reflecting the people. As we said, the, fa the, the emotions are reflected on the faces. So they are so overwhelmingly happy that it, reflect, it reflected on their faces, it became glowing and bright. Subhanallah. We ask Allah to make us among them. Fi jannatin ali. in an elevated, lofty garden. It's high, 
and its ranks are high. See, uh, living in, in high places is something that's desirable in this dunya, you know? When you're living uh, on a mountain in a, in a nice villa or something that overlooks the, either the beach or the, the valley or whatever. It, living in that high elevated place is something that's desirable, but not everybody can obtain because in, in many cases, if not in all cases, then it's an expensive place to obtain. So not everybody can, can obtain that. Allah is describing what they'll li be living in as something that's elevated. So its position is high and lofty. And it's, so its rank is high. In order to show the beauty of the place uh, they will be enjoying. And subhanAllah, one of the scholars said, they will be placed in these high gardens and from it they will be looking down at the bliss Allah Azza wa has prepared for them. Allah, Allah, this is a very nice feeling, you know. It's, subhanAllah, we ask Allah's mercy. لا تسمع فيها لاغية Wherein they will neither hear harmful, unsuitable, or nor unsuitable speech. Uh, a form of, of reward is that you're psychologically also uh, rewarded. One of the things that harms a person emotionally is to hear things that are evil, right? Insults or immoral words or things that are talking about falsehood or going against the truth, going against the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal. All of these things are emotionally harmful. So Allah Azza wa Jal is saying, you will be saved from this. They will be saved from hearing anything that's displeasing to them. Right? And amongst themselves, they will be dealing and saying things that reflect nobility and good manners. What does that, what can we extract from this? One of the scholars said, one of the, the blissful things of this dunya is for one to refrain himself from saying things that are included in this uh, description, you know, falsehood, insults, uh, immorality, idle talk, vain talk, right? And uh, to stay away from gatherings that involve such speech and talk. فيها عين جارية. Within it is a flowing spring. Spring عين here is indefinite. In in Arabic that reflects abundance, many springs with an abundant amount of water gushing out from it. Uh, Subhanallah, this adds to the beauty of the scene. I, I'm, I'm just trying to visualize now a high garden overlooking nice things and you're seeing springs gushing from everywhere. And then other verses in the Quran tell us about the rivers that will be flowing all around, milk, honey, water, wine. Beautiful. Deserving of effort. <sighs> nice feelings, subhanAllah. And you know, uh, one of the things that relaxes the person is to hear the sound of flowing water, you know? When, you, when you're sitting next to a creek or a river, uh, 
uh, and it's just flowing. It's, it's a very, very relaxing sound. All of that, this is just part of it, you know? Subhanallah. Fiha sururun marfu'ah. Within it are couches or thrones raised high. Right? It has four legs, you know? A couch with four legs. Ibn, Ibn Abbas said its legs will be made of gold and it will be uh, decorated with jewels and rubies. What a luxury, man. This is indeed luxury. He said, on it, there will be soft, cushiony uh, mats. Whenever they sleep, they feel the sweetness of the comfort of the sleep. They will enjoy You know, when you're on a comfortable mattress, if you buy one of those mattresses that are medical mattresses, right? That are worth a couple of thousand dollars. When you sleep on it, you know, with a little exaggeration, you feel like, like you're in Jannah, right? It's so comfortable <laughs> that you feel that, subhanAllah, this is so comfy, you know? Allahu Akbar, what is Jannah going to be like if this is this enjoyable? And cups well placed, ready and set at hand. Cups. It's described not to have handles, right? And it's always full, ready for you to drink without your request, with any type of drink that you might desire. You know, the, the highest level of, of luxury here is that one would have servants in the house, say a hundred, right? Uh, give me water. Yes, sir. They would run, bring water and come. Well, in Jannah, it's not like that. I want water. Water is there within hand reach. I want juice. I want wine. I want milk. I want honey. Everything is there. Ready. You know, when you finish your glass of water, cup of milk, whatever it is, right? Uh, give it back, right? Well, these cups won't be taken back from you. It will be there all the time for you. And regardless of how much you like or enjoy what you're drinking in this dunya, be it water, be it juice, whatever it is, right? At a certain point, you'll feel, I've had enough, right? Well, that feeling won't come in Jannah. You enjoy it, you will continue to enjoy it. It's just bliss everywhere, in all directions. At tabari said, these cups will be placed at the edge of the flowing or gushing springs, whenever they desire to drink anything, it is ready and full for them to drink from. And cushions lined up in rows. Now, many cushions made of silk, velvet. You see the luxury you're talking about? You know, when, when, if you've ever been into model homes where they have very luxurious, fancy, classy furniture, right? They place a lot of cushions and they design them in a certain, design them in a certain way, right? As a, as a way of attracting you, right? It looks so nice. Well, Allah Azza wa is preparing, is setting the environment up for us to feel ultimate type of joy. Luxury, 
Everything is fancy, everything is beautiful, everything is top niche. You see it when you, you go in, you, you see? Can you imagine us, inshallah, walking into our places in Jannah and you see these cushions? SubhanAllah. All types, all colors, all around. Makes it look very comfortable and enjoyable. And carpets spread around and leveled. Many carpets. Fancy carpets. Beautiful carpets. It's just like, if you, have you ever been into a, a place that sells rugs and carpets and they sell very expensive, exotic, expensive rugs and, you know, you touch it, you feel like you're touching the skin of a baby. It's so soft, so smooth, right? Well, this is what we can see in this dunya. But imagine multiples and multiples of beauty and luxury and fancy rugs and carpets will be spread around all the place, right? Where, wherever you look, you see them there. Just attractive to the eye, soothing to the heart, comforting when you look at it. But again, as we said, just like Allah Azza wa Jal gave examples of real life things for the punishments of the people of hell, Allah is given, is given examples of things that we can see, but we will never be able to perceive the actual bliss and joy because the Prophet ﷺ, when he spoke about the bliss and joy of Jannah, فِيهَا مَا لَا عَيْنُ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ بَشَرٍ In it, there will be things, blissful, enjoyable things, which no ear has ever heard of, no eye has ever seen, and no heart has ever perceived. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us among those who are deserving uh, of the reward of Jannah and to make us in the company of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. With this we will conclude this, in, conclude this session and we will resume in the following session. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu